Hello, all you cool teens. My name is Clint Hoagland, and this is Creating Electronic Music with Chuck. In our last video, we did a deep dive into filters and how you can use them to shape your sounds. In this tutorial, I'll explain how to use Chuck's machine command to arrange a song by assembling a score file. In lesson 15, we talked about shreds and how you can launch them. Without rehashing that entire lesson, a shred is a single musical process. You can launch one using the miniatical by sporking a function or by using a machine command inside a Chuck file. Now, you can use Chuck all kinds of ways. You can use it to make individual sounds and then export or record those sounds and use them in something else. For example, the music I use in these videos is always generated in Chuck. I just launch the Chuck file and record it with my video editor. However, you might have a desire to make something closer to a structured composition or quote unquote song that has sections and parts that begin and end. A nice way to handle that is with a score file. A score file is just a Chuck file that utilizes machine commands to start and stop other Chuck files. You can use a score file to wrap your head around creating an arrangement in your composition. Let's see how it works. Here I've got a bunch of files open in VS Code. From these, I'm going to assemble a little instrumental synth pop song. I've got a file with a bass line, I've got a file similar to the bass line with some decoration. I've got a file that uses an oscillator and some noise to make a kick and a snare. I've got another file that makes sort of a hi-hat pattern from noise. I've got a file that makes a pad. And finally, I've got a file that does a sort of random blippy thing that sounds nice. Okay, now that I have all the files I need, let's make a score file. We'll need to define our paths to all of our file names. We'll also need to define our tempo as the same tempo we had in our other files. Now let's define a bar as four beats. Okay, we're gonna do this live. Actually, this is my second attempt at doing this because I forgot to record the microphone last time. But okay, so how, the way I like to lay this out is I start by making a comment saying what I intend to do. So I'm gonna start by st uh, start kick and snare for bars. Okay, so the way you do this, again, is machine.add, and then we'll do the kick a snare file name, and we'll do four times bar to now. And let's do a machine.remove after that, just so you can see that it's working. Oh, and there's another thing you gotta do, which I almost forgot. You chuck that to an int so that you can use that int To remove it. All right. So another thing that you can see down here is that this is where I kicked the score.ck, and here's where score.ck kicked the, the kick-snare.ck. Okay. So what are we going to do next? Let's add in base two after four bars. I'm going to get rid of this. Machine dot add base two file name, and we'll chuck that to an int base two. Uh, and we'll do that for eight bars. Eight times bar to now. Now, uh, let's add the hi-hat in. Sorry, I was thinking there for a second. Dramatic pauses, great in uh, your screencasts. Okay, and then, uh, so we gotta add in the hi-hat.
And then let's kill the, the kick. Four bars, kick and snare. I didn't leave myself the flexibility to remove just the kick in this particular instance. Okay, and then so we're going to machine dot remove the kick, which uses this int that we had up here on line 15. Okay, so uh, then we're gonna do four bars of that. Four times bar. So now, and then we're going to machine remove the base two and the hi-hat after that. So what we're going to do next is hi-hat and base two, which will end our short composition here so we can start a second section. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. This is base two. Machine dot remove uh, hi hat or hats is what I called it. Okay, save it up and see if this works or if I mess it up. Sounds like it's going. All right, so because that removed all of the, the remaining shreds, the composition ended. Okay, so now we want to move on to the next section. That was kind of a nice intro, right? So let's comment out that whole thing. VS Code, that's Control key, uh, K and then C while you hold the Control button. Control key. Uh, okay, so next section. Let's start the pad. Four bars. And then that's my pad file name, go to int pad and machine. Uh, yeah, then I'll just do four bars of that. So now. And then we'll add in. Base one. Four bars of that. And then we'll just add in the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, we're going to do. spelling up there you guys didn't stop me um, and then we have the rest of these things well we're not going to add in base 2 we're going to use that as a contrasting texture and uh, we're going to add the kick and snare in so we'll have the the pad we actually didn't want the pad we wanted the panning thing the pad is already going. I'll call that panner. So now we have the pad, base one, and the hi-hats, the panner, and the kick. We'll get eight bars of that. So now, and then we will machine that replace. I don't remember how replace works. Let's not do that because I don't remember how it works. <laughs> All right, so uh, machine dot remove. Um, gotta go back and watch my own video. We're gonna re uh, replace the 
base one and we're going to machine.add base two file name while well, we still have the other things going and we'll do another eight bars check that to now and then we'll add the regular base back in And I think we're going to remove the, uh, yeah, we're actually going to remove the, we're going to remove the pad here. And then we're going to add it back in after eight bars. We might get collisions of uh, re renaming these things over and over again and declaring the uh, the type over and over again. I guess we'll find that out in a minute here. It might embark me right now. Yeah, it did already. So you so you can't reuse these things. So when we uh, you don't need to declare the type over and over again. You can only do it once. So when we undo that comment, it's going to be important to go back and fix some of those. because I didn't remove everything. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I feel like it's about high time to wrap this up. Um, so let's comment out all this. Oh, I should have put in comments about the other things. I'm breaking my own practices. So let's do that. So here it's... Uh, add in panner, hats, and kick. And, like, the... The reason to do this practically is it has more to do with the comments breaking up the thing visually than it does actually giving documentation, right? Because you can really see what's happening. Uh, but um, having those comments breaking apart the different sections is a useful visual aid, in my opinion. Uh, kill base one and add. Start base two. And then we'll do uh, start pad back up. And we'll do that for uh, four bars. Let's do it for four bars. And then we'll kill the, uh, the kick and snare again. while all that stuff's happening. And that'll be uh, our sec uh, full second section. So let's listen to that now. And then I'll just start to do an outro because this is getting to be a long video.
Well, I forgot to add in four bars there, but that was kind of a happy accident because that sounded neat, right? Uh, so I'm going to uh, change that comment. Send four bars. And now, and then, um, we're just going to kill everything. Um, so yeah, we're going to do who all is alive right now. Now we're going to kill the pad. Base two. And, uh, the, oh, yeah. Um, the pad. And then we're going to add the panner back in. Because the panner still still there. It was never removed. That's fine. Okay, and then we're going to do eight bars of this. And then we're going to uh, add, we're going to add the pad back in. Four bars. to now and uh, so okay so now we've got uh, oh we got to add the kickback in there too uh, um, um, and then I'm gonna remove the pad and add base one. Four bars of that. And then we'll add in the hi hats. We'll do eight bars of that. And then we're going to re remove the panner, leaving just the base, the kick, and the hi hats. Eight bars of that. I'm, I'm th trying to think and uh, type at the same time, which never works. And also, I keep for forgetting to put in my comments. All right, let's do... Uh, this is now... Remove, pad, add, base, four bars. And 
add hats, eight bars. And then uh, we'll do, uh, I think, so at this point we've only got the hats and the, let's, let's just end the song now. So this is gonna be move, hats, and kick, and song. Uh, it's missing, like, you know, you could, if you want to like put together a nice dance track or synth pop track or whatever, that would be like several minutes long, but uh, we're not gonna try to do that because that would take all night. So let's do a machine that remove, and that's gonna, we're gonna remove the hats and machine dot remove kick, and that should end the song. Let's see, let's just see what we got if we try to uncomment everything. We might have a, a little bit of a kind of a song here. And it's gonna, it's gonna fail in the first try because I re, I use the type to redeclare the things in that second section. So there's gonna be a bunch of. So f at first it's gonna be on line 38. Then it's gonna be there. Might have been only those two places. Okay, good. Let's see. All right, but let, let's see what kind of if we got sort of a, a song to listen to here. Let's 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 go. Nope. Line 63. That was a, I tried to add an int to a thing that takes a file name. Now we're going. Oh no! Why is the phase two still going? Oh! So I didn't put it up here. It'll go forever.
all right, well, uh, I f forgot to remove the, both of the bases there, so let's actually just make the song do... Uh, do what that just did. <laughs> so I'll just remove that from there. I'll up here. I'm going to add that base two in there. So now you get to, now you get to see exactly what the problem is. When uh, is that the first time that I ever got used? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you forget to stash that reference. To the the uh, to the shred in there, then you're stuck with that shred forever in this scheme. So keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, so all right, so we're gonna do another eight bars of this thing. So now, and then we're going to. Base one, base two. All right, I'm not gonna play the whole thing again because you just heard it and it's not like it's a great piece of art or anything, but uh, yep, that's how you make a score file. So there are a few things that aren't great here. The first thing is that, as we noticed, it's real easy to forget to stash a reference to your shred in order to kill it later. The only way to work around that that I know of is to avoid while true. It's probably better to standardize around four or eight bar for loops. Another problem, which there is a solution for, is that none of these files are aware of each other. That means that, for example, we had to declare the tempo in every file. It also means that we had to rewrite our chords in every file. That's not too terrible, we could live like that, but it does make it harder to do complicated things in our compositions. In a future tutorial, we'll look at classes, which have a peculiar feature in Chuck that lets you work around this limitation. In this tutorial, we talked about score files and used a score file to make an arranged composition. In our next tutorial, we're going to talk about using Chuck to cut up breaks in the style of drum and bass or breakcore.